Hello, it's Kinkle here, Hyperplay RPG fanzine editor. Um, as our readers will know, we're huge fans of Super Famicom games, um, obviously particularly RPGs, uh, and a lot of them didn't make it over to uh, the West, didn't get translated into English, particularly at the end of the SNES's life. So we're going to have a look what's in this box. Something very special, we think. It's from Flashback Entertainment in the States. They specialise in repro goods, uh, so translating uh, JRPGs uh, that never made it over uh, to the West, to England, to the States, to Canada, Australia. And um, we're very excited about it. So they've sent us some samples. This is the box. Now, Flashback Entertainment, their website, I'll put all the details uh, in the blurb at the bottom, uh, in the show details, but their website is shopflashbackgames.com. Very exciting website. And let's hope these goods are very exciting too. Ugh, quite hard to get into this box, it's extremely well packaged. Let's try and use a bigger knife. We don't know what's in the box. We have an idea that it's going to be some Super Famicom RPGs translated into English. Hopefully, complete in box with manuals and maps and all that good stuff. Wow, this box is tricky to get into. Still, we're getting there. Okay, wow. Seem to have three games here, each individually bubble wrapped. I'm not as strong as I used to be. Okay. Let's have a look what we've got. Goodness me, these look incredible. Phenomenal games here. You can just about make out through the bubble wrap. So let's start with this one. Sorry about the loud crackly noise. This looks an absolute beauty. My goodness, look at the quality on that. Let's bring you in closer for a better look. Just a second. Okay, we have Live Alive. Um, I have to admit, in the 90s, I always thought it was pronounced live a live um, but you can read by the katakana. The Japanese script on the box, it says Araibu a Araibu. And this never made it to any English-speaking country. A 1995 SNES release, or uh, Super Famicom release, I should say. Um, done by Square, who of course produced so many fantastic RPGs uh, on the SNES like Final Fantasy VI or three, as it was called in the States, which did make it over. This one didn't. Uh, very excited about this one. The music, I believe, was done by the legendary Yoko Shimamura. Yoko Shimamura-san, um, phenomenal musician, who has uh, also done Super Mario, the music for Super Mario RPG and so on. Anyway, that's slightly beyond the scope of this. What we have here is Live Alive and the quality on this box absolutely fantastic. We'll get some photos in as well. I mean, that really is something special. We've previously bought many uh, English translated boxes and so on, and they vary wildly in quality. Very few have the clarity of text and image that this one does. Hopefully that's all clear and you can see that. If I stop moving it, it might help. Absolutely beautiful. Instead of the uh, official Nintendo seal of quality, we have official flashback seal. So the, they make it clear that it's a repro, which is great because don't want people to buy it, think it's official goods and so on and then be disappointed. But anyway, I can't see how anyone could be disappointed with this. This is fantastic. Uh, shrink wrapped very tightly. So let's see if I can get into this without being very careful not to damage the box, of course. Oh dear. There we go. I'm in. Okay. J 
gently off. Put that somewhere safe. Don't want to litter Hyper Bay RPG Towers, as our humble abode is called. Okay, off it comes. Let's dive in. Gently, gently. These will be going into protective plastic boxes to go on our shelves. So, let's see what we've got. Oh, that's lovely. Classic instruction manual, done in the classic style for SNES games. And you've got to bear in mind, they really did come to this from scratch. The uh, Super Famicom manual is quite different, thinner, taller. But this is done just like an official SNES release would be done. And it's also in a protector, which is fantastic. What else have we got? We've also got, wow, special cards and stickers. This is incredible. These guys really do go to town. A Ghostbusters sticker. Zelda game card, Mario card, Samus, Mega Man, legendary SNES classic characters. And the hero of time himself, Link. So that looks like a sticker or a, a transferable little henna tattoo, maybe. That's superb. Uh, it's these extra touches that we really, really love, as well as the overall product. So what's this, a poster? <clears throat> I'm gonna have to come back a bit here. Flashback Entertainment. Sweet Home, this one's called. I have to say I don't know of that one. Probably not an RPG, might be. Showing the limits of my knowledge, perhaps. What other delights have we got in here? In the uh, Live Alive box. A Live Alive poster. That is delicious. And I should say the quality, the thickness, is perfect on these. Uh, not too thin, not too thick. Yep, it even smells good. Do love the smell of a bit of printed matter. And another Live Alive poster with mountains in the background. That is stunning. That truly is. So, finally, last but very much not least, is the cart itself. Which we'll play test later on our SNES Mini. The uh, original SNES NTSC Mini, that is. And not the newfangled HDI one. Uh, so, very nice. Very nice indeed, the build quality. These look like new cartridges as well. I'm sure it's got a new battery inside, but uh, I'll check that after the video. I've got the access tools, and I'll put that in the, uh, the notes below. So, that's brilliant. Three magnificent posters, the game, these character cards, with uh, some featured box sets that uh, Flashback provide. So their website, again, shopflashbackgames.com. I'll put the details below. Put those safely. Let's have a look. <laughs> Love that Ghostbusters sticker. Not quite sure what that's all about, but I'm all for a quirky extra. Then we go into the manual. Very thick covers. Really durable stuff. It's very easy to tell quite quickly on these repro goods how good they're going to be just by the thickness of the paper. And that is lovely, really sturdy. And then inside, thick paper. Clear text, lovely background images. I mean, this is truly professional. These guys have labored over this. It's a labor of love. Just perfect. And this is, you know, look at that character art. No doubt that will have been taken from scanned images from the Super Famicom manual, but Often those images don't get transplanted very well. Over to Repro Goods, they are here. This is the business. So how many pages is that? That's 42 pages in a very thick, delicious manual. This stuff is highly recommended. Live Alive, superb. Let's move on to the next one. Put that very safely to the side. Tidy that up. Okay. Let's go for this one. I'm particularly excited about this. I believe there's an article on Kotaku, Kotaku, I should say, a website we occasionally look at, that 
lists this game as one of the best RPGs, certainly best Super Famicom RPGs you've never played. And we'll put that link in the show notes as well. It is Rudra no Hiho, Treasure of the Rudras. Uh, I think this was released in 1996 on the Super Famicom. Uh, 32 meg game. Also done by Square. It was featured in one of the later issues of our favourite magazine of the time, Superplay, as anyone who reads Hyperplay RPG will know. Superplay was our favourite magazine back in the day. Phenomenal coverage of, well, what would have been the mainstream would have considered obscure Super Famicom games. They featured Treasure of the Rudras in a preview in their uh, Fantasy Quest section at the start of uh, the magazine. One of the very late issues. And I'm very excited about Treasure of the Rudras. Never been able to play it. Um, obviously there was a fan translation done um, maybe around 2003 um, by Aeon Genesis. Uh, haven't been able to play that yet, so very excited to get this. It's supposed to be a phenomenal game where you can make up your own spells. Um, supposed to be very tough, but one we're very keen to get into. So again, shrink-wrapped, lovely quality on this box. Hopefully you can see the back of that. Again, we'll get some photos in there. We've seen various mock-ups of how Treasure of the Rudras might look before, but the front of this box, the image on there, and the text, the way it all comes together and plays together is beautiful. We've seen other Treasure of the Rudras logos don't look anywhere near as good. This one certainly does. So, let's rip off this shrink wrap. I know some of you will be going, oh, keep it perfect. It's delicious. It is delicious. But we've got to get in there. We promised to do an unboxing. Doing an unboxing. People need to know just how amazing these games are available from Flashback Entertainment in Florida are. Ah. Okay, shrink wrap is off. Here we go. Yep, same again. So we have the manual in a manual protector. Great that we don't need to worry about that. Again, more cards, same as before. Exactly the same as before. Bonus cards. Let's have a look at the posters. Ooh, Clock Tower. Another late Super Famicom game that uh, I believe never made it over to the States, uh, at least not on the Super Nintendo format. It may have come over later. Um, never played Clock Tower personally, but good to see uh, old uh, Big Ben there, uh, which um, isn't that far away from Hyperplay RPG Towers. There you go. In the UK, but yeah, Clock Tower and very dark, um, late Super Famicom game. So is it an RPG? Is it not? Don't really know. Might be more of a visual novel style game, to be honest. But anyway, it's nothing to do with Treasure of the Rider's, but lovely to have that poster as an extra. Oh, Tactics Ogre, let us cling together. Delicious art there. That's, uh, so, Tactics Ogre, sequel to uh, Ogre Battle March of the Black Queen, I believe on the SNES, another late SNES game um, done by Matsuno um, at Square, famous for uh, creating the Evil East world of Final Fantasy XII and Final Fantasy Tactics and so on. So that is awesome art, an awesome poster. We'll get that on the wall here at Hyperplay RPG Towers. And last but not least, we have, wow, Ancient Magic Bazoo. World of Magic. Can't say I know anything about that one either. Oh dear. Editor Kinkle. Not proving to be the expert he thought he was. Well, there we go. But that is fantastic. We'll have to look into that. I love how these extras pique one's interest. And then... The Treasure of the Rudras. Cart. Again, pristine. So let's have a quick look at the manual. Awesome build quality again. Good firm cover. Lovely images and layout. When you choose whomever's equipment you wish to see with the A button, 
the screen at right will appear. So yeah, that's a bit of sort of Japlish, if we can say that, Japanese English. Um, but it's quite clear what you've got to do when following the instructions. They do make that clear. And again, look at the quality on those images and that text, just sublime. And again, we're rocking out at about 40 pages. Got a lovely item list with graphics there. Splendid, another square soft epic. Can't wait to dive into that one. We'll see how it plays later. So that was Treasure of the Rudras or Radra no Hihu. Hiho, I should say. My Japanese pronunciation ain't what it used to be. And here's the last one. The three delicious games here. Really, really pleased with those other two. Two square soft bona fide classics, can't wait to get into. And it's Tales of Fantasia. First Tales game, we believe. What a whopper this one was. A huge game full of uh, music and a song with vocals at the start. Stunningly beautiful game as you take control of young swordsman Kless on his adventures. So, let's get stuck in to this. Again, a game which never made it over to the West. But it has now, thanks to Flashback Entertainment. There we go, didn't need to use a knife. Let's get that cellophane off. To do. Again, lovely image on the front. Just stunning, love that blue. As we've come to expect, clear text on the back and the flashback logo. Here we go. Make sure this governs out the way so you good people can see. You may have guessed this is our first YouTube video, so you'll have to bear with us. We're doing our best. And if the quality isn't wonderful, then what can I say? We're a retro RPG fan magazine. It's going to be a little bit rough around the edges, but it's going to be amazing. Tales of Fantasia poster. Boom. That art, I believe, is the same as on the manual. Top left looks like a bit of a graphical discrepancy. It's not. That's a cloud. Can we have a bit of Alan Partridge there? One for you uh, UK viewers. Zelda, Legend of Link. I believe that's one of the homebrew games that uh, Flashback offer on their site, definitely go and check them out, shopflashbackgames.com I believe. Again I'll put that in the show notes, and actually it says shopflashbackgames.com at the bottom. Go and check out all their stuff, complete in box, homebrew builds, just delightful. There's one more, and yet another poster, these guys are so good, They're absolutely awesome with their extras. You will not be disappointed, we're certainly not. Oh it's the zoo again. Bazoo's back, baby, yeah. Get your bazookas out, or maybe not. Right, so, oh, actually, well, look who we've got. That k -Mac out of Super Mario RPG? I'd like to think so. Could be wrong. Could be right. Also in Yoshi's Island, I believe, that little dude. Okay. Oh, yeah, the cart, don't forget the cart. All important cart. Same as the other two. Absolutely perfect. We'll give it a playthrough later and let you know how it plays and saves. And the manual. Lovely pastel shading on the front. Great graphic on the back as well. Nice little touch there. All that good quality you've come to expect. I mean, you guys can see this first before me. How about that? Basic controls, essential. Screen overview, nice. It's a big manual, this one. Plenty of detail. Really going for it. How to buy items, presumably. 
Make sure your item storage is up to speed. Always good fun in RPGs. Some more than others. So loads of detail here in this manual. And look at that image on the back. Just delightful. Ooh, reminds us a little bit of Fei Wong in uh, Xenogears there at the bottom. Like it. So yeah, 36 pages of English manual deliciousness for Tales of Fantasia. Another quality classic late era Super Famicom RPG. Gonna have to put a year on it, I'd say 1996. Fantastic. So there we are. That is Flashback Games unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put up uh, a little bit more extra info into the vid, some photos, and um, and we'll see how they play as well over on the TV. But for now, kick out. So Tales of Fantasia, here we are, we're out onto the world map. Blissful tunes playing in the background. Let's see if this game can hold a save. There is a new battery installed, so we're sure we will be able to save it. Spung it in there. Who else saves twice for good measure? I'm sure there are plenty of us who do. Okay, so let's duck out of there. Just shut it down. Let's press the reset button. And continue, go straight to continue, that's a good sign. Holds the saves. So we can confirm, flashback games, new battery, hold a save. Beautiful. <laughs>